Hi guys, this is the Balkan Architect and in today's video I will be modeling this pergola or basically a skeletal construction that has plants in it or even better I found this version that has basically a woven cloth running through the beam system. It looks quite nice and it can be used as a walkway, a passageway or just as a, as a, as a canopy. So I thought it would be an interesting project to do in Revit. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like these pretty much every day. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to be using the architectural template. And before we do anything in Revit, I just like to set the units. So I'm going to type in UN for project units. And let's use centimeters for this one. Okay, so first you need to ask yourself what do you need to model something like this. So we're going to be needing some columns. We also need some beams running lengthwise. And then we need a beam system running horizontally. And we need a woven cloth that we can model as a component family. Okay, so let's get started. First, we need to insert all the elements that we're going to be using. So here I'm going to go to the Insert tab, find this load family. And I'm not going to be using the Imperial, I'm going to be using the metric library. So now I'm going to go down and find structural columns. And let's find a wood column. Yeah, this timber column would be just fine. So I'll just select one dimension, maybe this one. Type in OK. Now let's select some beams, so again US metric, structural framing, here we go, wood, again timber, and let's choose, let's choose the same one. Okay, open it up. Okay, so we have now all the elements we need to load in the project, so now we can start working, but before that I'm just going to go here to south elevation, and for height I don't think 400 will do, that's a bit too much, so I'm going to go with 300 centimeters. Okay, now I'm going to go back to level 1 and let's add, go to Arch Architecture tab and let's add some reference planes just to help us out. So I'm just going to model one plane here, one plane here and let's put them at 400 centimeters. You can do this same thing with the grids, doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to create a couple more reference planes like this and now I can go with the create similar tool and let's offset them by I don't know by 6 meters or 600 centimeters okay this will do so now let's start modeling so I'm going to go here to structural tab I'm going to go structural column and let's create a vertical column we're going to choose this timber one and here from depth you need to change it to height and from unconnected we need to change it to level 2. Okay, once we've done that, we can start placing our columns in place. So let's place one here, one here, and then we can just select them and copy them down. So I'm just going to go here to multiple, copy them here, and here as well. Okay, once that's completed, we can go into level 2, and you can see our columns over here. So now let's create a the, these beams running lengthwise. So here I'm just going to go to beam, again select this timber beam. For placement plane I'm going to go with level 2 and that's pretty much all I need to place. So let's start modeling but before we create this plane here I'm just going to change this to fine so we can see our beam better and let's offset it by one meter here and place it like so. Now if you can't select this beam, that's alright. To select it, you just go into VR for view range and then you need to change here from this bottom to unlimited and from view depth to unlimited. Go apply, OK. And now you can basically change your beam up or you can select it and move it around. So I'm just going to go with copy and I'm going to copy it to the other side. OK, we have our beam in place and let's just go into 3D and see how that looks like. 
Okay, that looks fine, but you can see these beams are actually running, or these columns are running through our beams. So in order to avoid that, I'm just going to select all of them, and here for top offset, I'm just going to type in minus 14, because it's a 14 centimeter beam, and you can see now it ends where it should. Okay, once that's completed, we need to just create a beam system running here in the opposite direction. So to do so, I'm just going to go to level 2, I'm going to choose beam system, and here for elevation, I'm just going to add an offset, basically, of a 14 centimeters, so it's above our beams, so the beam system will be above these beams. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, wait just a second, it will all be done in a moment. So here first I create the boundary and then I'm just going to extend it a little bit away. Let's do 60 centimeters, that looks fine. Do the same thing here. Yeah, let's put it at 60. Yeah, that looks about right. Okay, once that's completed, you can see this is actually has this little two marks. That means this is determining the beam direction, so beams will go like this horizontally. And once we've done that for the layout rule, I'm going to go with fixed distance and let's go with, I don't know, 100 centimeters. Go apply, OK. And there you go, we have our beam system. Now it has named all of their beams. That's really not important for this. Right here we can select them and delete them or not. I don't really need to delete them. And I'm just going to go into 3D and see how does that look like and it looks quite alright actually. Okay, once we've created basically the construction, now we need to create the canopy or basically the wo woven part of the cloth. To do so, I'm going to go back to level 1 or level 2. And then I'm just going to select this reference plane and I'm going to go create similar and I'm going to create a reference plane here. And I'm going to name it number 1. And I'm going to create another reference plane, I just select it, go create similar, and create another one over here. This one I don't really need to name at this point. And then I'm going to create a few more in, the, in between. So I'm just going to go like this. One, two, three, let's go with four in between. Okay, once that's completed, this will basically create our grid system in which we'll create our cloth. So to do, to basically make these here distances between reference planes equal, I'm just going to be using the dimension tool and here I'm just going to place the dimension in, just place it here and hit this EQ and now you can see these distances are all equal. So why did we need to do that? Because as you remember in the picture all of these cloth elements or strips are the same distance, now we can model them here and they'll all be the same distance. Okay, so now to model that I'm going to go here into this east elevation and if you can see all of the beams are kinda weird, so just change this to find and it will all be it will all look normal again. So now we have to model our cloth that will be running between these this beam system, and to do that I'm just going to go component, model in place, and I'm just going to go with generic model, go OK, and now we need to start modeling. So first this will be modeled as an extrusion and to pick a plane I'll pick by name and I'll choose reference plane number one. As you remember we named the first one number one. So now we can start modeling. Here I'm just going to go like this. Here I'm going to model like this, so. And if this is too thick, all of these lines, you can just make hit this to create thin lines so you can see everything much better. So I'm going, just going to go here and create another one over here. And now let's offset that by 0.5 centimeters. Yeah, like this. 
same thing here, just on the other side. And now you can start connecting these. So connect the lower one to the lower one and the top one to the top one. And you basically need to repeat this process to create the whole thing. And now you just need to finish these gaps at the end. So make sure it's a closed extrusion and in the beginning as well. Just close this up and you're done with the first one. So now you just hit this to finish it, go into level 2. And here we need to set this extrusion to this here reference plane. Okay, and once that's completed, we now need to copy it. So just copy it and unconstrain it over here. And copy it from this reference plane to this one and to this one as well. Now we need to model the one that's going in a different direction. So I'm going to go back to East Elevation. And here I'm just going to go again, Create, Extrusion. And we can use the same one, the reference plane 1, and then we'll move it in place. So again, I'll just start modeling and it's basically the same process as the other one. Okay, and now once this is finished, you just hit finish, go back to level 2, and here you find these two arrows and you put it in place over here. And again, you need to copy it once, so just copy, unconstrain, and move it here in place. Okay, once that's finished, we need to select these extrusions, so hold the control key to select multiple. And once all of them are selected, you need to go here to Material. And the let's, for the material, let's choose a fabric here. And I'm going to go Linen White, load it in, and go Apply. OK. And then you just go Finish Model. And you go into 3D. And there you go. So our canopy or walkway is completed. So that's pretty much it for this video, thank you for watching, please subscribe, like and share this video and if you have any comments, questions or suggestions for future tutorials, please leave it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.